do you think there's enough African artists actually ah. for, for in, in this generation? This whole on a second, this is what's so exciting. Today, uh, you have Angelique Kidjo singing on this. And this is not just one of the greatest voices in Africa, she's one of the greatest voices in the world. And I know there's an Africa Stop Ebola song that's just been put out, which is incredible. And I hear, I hear, in fact, I know, but I'm not supposed to say, but I am anyway. Cool, that there, there is an African We Are the World um, in the works, which I think is fantastic because Africa yeah. kind of, you know, is where we all come from. Isn't that right? Riff volume. So um, that is going to be great. So, that, so there's a lot happening on the continent. And these are political failures. It's not a medical failure when hospitals don't have doctors and nurses. It's not a, you know, a medical failure when doctors don't have protective clothing. Yeah. It's a political failure. So when you see these G8 meetings and people out on the street and say, what are they on about? I'm trying to get those politicians to keep their promises. If they keep their promises, then these health systems will be in place to deal with the next Ebola. That's but really what all this is about. Politics, politicians just break promises though. Well, no, in this country, it's an incredible thing. You should be really, really proud of it. Yeah. You have universal support, yeah. you know, on the left and on the right. Yeah. This government and the government before and the people out on the street actually believe in this stuff. Great Britain's brilliant. And you hear these little, you know, fractions being thrown around like 0.7% of the, the, you know, GNI, you know, the country's income is being spent on these things. That's what people are talking about. They're talking about doctors and nurses. So put people in place of statistics the next time that comes up and I think it's it's helpful.